Weather Authority Alert Day continues for all of your Friday thanks to the localized effects of Tropical Storm Helene building across the region. Latest advisory came out at 5 a.m. about an hour 45 minutes ago. Northward movement at 30 miles per hour. This storm is racing off towards the north. Pressure continues to increase, which means the storm is decreasing in intensity. Maximum winds are now down to 70 miles per hour. However, we're still seeing gusts close to 80, 90 miles per hour because of that forward momentum of 30 miles per hour. We can tag it on to the maximum wind speeds in some areas of this storm. The power outage is uh, showing exactly the track of where Helene has built through. 90% is highlighted there in the pinks and purples on your map. So a lot of recovery efforts will be ongoing within the next coming days, within the next coming weeks across Florida and Georgia into South Carolina, then eventually into parts of the mid Atlantic rainfall totals over the past 24 hours. This area up here, 13 inches of rain is not associated with Helene. It's associated with an area of low pressure that was just to our west that brought us about four to five inches of rain over the past two to three days. They've seen almost double, almost triple of what we've seen. Parts of Pensacola, Apalachicola, and Panama City Beach, uh, Florida has seen anywhere from five to 10 inches of rain. Coastal Carolinas have seen five to six inches of rain. Atlanta seeing close to seven inches of rain. So uh, a big time rainmaker with this storm, also a big time wind maker as we're continuing to see some of these outer bands filter throughout our neck of the woods. We're still going to be dealing with some feeder bands building throughout uh, towards the north over the next couple of hours as we head into the back half of the morning, the early afternoon will continue to deal with that flooding and wind threat basically all morning long. What we're tracking at this point, again, that first band built through, it's now pushing off towards the north. What we're dealing with in parts of Grayson County is more moderate rain. Here's the next band that's going to be pushing off towards the north. There's also flash flood emergencies ongoing basically all across western North Carolina from Waynesville all the way out to Lenore. North Carolina into Hickory, Lincoln, Lincolnton, Marion, Asheville, Johnson City. All of these areas are under a uh, flash flood emergency at this time. Tropical storm warnings highlighted here in blue. We have tornado warnings along parts of the coast down here. So uh, lots and lots of stuff going on with this system. But future cast here shows that we're going to continue to deal with some of these heavier rain bands building in as early as 730, 8 o'clock for parts of the New River Valley, then eventually spreading off towards the east, bringing in wind gusts close to 20, 30 miles per hour for the Roanoke Valley, Lynchburg and Southside and parts of the Highlands. But notice Grayson County, Independence near Galax and parts of Hillsville, mouth of Wilson. You guys are going to be seeing winds close to 50, if not 60 miles per hour, because the center of this storm is going to be just off to our south and west. So we do want that center of rotation to be further off to the west so that our winds uh, become weaker, but gusts could be upwards of 50 miles per hour in some of our backyards. As we go fast forward through about 11 a.m. into lunch hour, we're continuing to see the winds shifting more out of the east, but the streamwise flow for some of these storms is almost uh, directly south to north. So some of these areas that see some of these rain bands are going to be dealing with heavy rain for hours at a time. So that's the main concern for flooding. Also, we're going to be dealing with some single cell storms that built through after, which will be rotating because we are on the dirty side of the storm. This is where the most amount of vorticity or spin is going to be taking place. So the tornado threat is fairly high throughout all of our Friday. Once this rain starts to get going, then winds will start to die down and still be gusting close to 10, 20 miles per hour at times. But again, the tornado threat is elevated for all of North Carolina and all of Virginia. The flooding potential I've gone ahead and highlighted and plotted the last three days of rainfall areas highlighted here in red, pink and purple are the areas that are flood prone because the grounds are extremely saturated due to the rains that we've seen. And because of that, there is aerial flood watch in effect for southwest and central Virginia encompassing everywhere. And then future rainfall estimates anywhere from about one to four inches locally. Some spots in Grayson County, these areas highlighted in red could see five to six inches of rain with some spots along the mountains seeing upwards of eight inches of rain, especially in and around parts of Asheville, North Carolina. As for your seven day forecast tomorrow, rain starts to diminish a little bit, but then it returns as Helene looks to build back towards the east on Sunday and Monday.